Hi, my name is Mike Burke. I'm with Denison Yachting, and we're aboard the Set in My Waves, an 80 Viking here in Jupiter, Florida. We just got back in from an awesome sea trial where the boat hit 40 knots and looked beautifully. There's a few things I'd like to show you today, including this beautiful salon that we're in, the massive cockpit going back, and the four staterooms down below. This galley is so great for entertaining. While you're making dinner or hors d'oeuvres, you've got people sitting at the bar, you've got people sitting at the salon, and you actually have more space over there in the dinette. This boat is set up perfectly. If you want to cruise, you can sit back and just enjoy the ride. If you're a serious fishing guy and you need a fighting chair, we could put one in. It comes with a plate already there, so it's easy to mount, but you're already set up with your live wells and your outriggers, ready to go either way. One of my favorite things about this 80 Viking is the enclosed flybridge. Later on, you'll see the electronics, you'll see the space. The greatest thing, or one of the greatest things about a big enclosed bridge boat like this is that the family can all be together. How many times have you been running your boat and everybody's downstairs? With an enclosed bridge boat, you can come up here in the comfort of AC with no wind, no noise, and enjoy a nice movie or watch NASCAR on one of the screens and everybody can spend their time together. One of the spaces I look forward to showing you is the engine room. She's powered with twin 2600 horsepower MTU engines. She only has about 1450 hours, has extended warranties, and is ready to go, all updated with all of her services. Normally we would start on the outside, but we're gonna show you the spacious interior in this boat to let you know that you can either fish these boats or you can cruise them. This boat is set up for cruising. With her 21 foot beam, she's spacious inside, pop-up TV over here, storage underneath all these cabinets here, and then of course the staircase to the enclosed bridge. Another thing you find here below the stairs is an ice maker. This boat comes equipped with carpet runners throughout, covers for all the teak tables. This happens to be a high-low table you could actually have dinner on, or you could use it as a cocktail table. I'm gonna take you into the forward part of the salon area where we have a big dinette, where we have seating for four here, and we also have three bar stools over here. We also have a nice custom wood floor inside the galley and the dining area, along with custom rod storage down below. We have two TVs, one on the wall, one in the uh, salon there, along with the day head that's right here. Outside the day head here, we have a very nice wine cooler. Next to the wine cooler, we have a pantry, large amount of storage, and then this takes you right into the galley. This boat's pretty unique in the sense that it's actually got an oven, so if you like to cook, this could be the boat for you. It also has a dishwasher back here, along with refrigerator, freezers, all in the cabinets here. Now that we've seen the salon and the galley, follow me down to the master stateroom. She's full beam and very spacious. We're here in the master stateroom where we have a full-size king bed here with upgraded mattresses throughout. Over my shoulder here, you have a very nice large window, which gives you a lot of natural light. It's very spacious, nice walk around into the master head with vanity and shower. Come follow me forward to the cruise quarters on the starboard side. Here we have the cruise quarters with a nice upper and lower berth with storage. You have separate hanging closets for both the captain and the mate. And going aft, you have a nice in-suite large head and shower for the crew. And across the hall from the crew, we have our first VIP stateroom, king size bed, walk around with a hanging closet and storage on both sides. There's a reason why we started today's walkthrough on the interior. This boat is a totally custom 80 Viking and the owner wanted specifically to have a large laundry room for the crew. In this space, we have full size washer and dryer along with a folding table, custom storage and hanging space. Follow me in to the fourth and final stateroom, the VIP. Before we head outside, I'd love to show you the stateroom and the size and the storage. Over on the port side, you have a full length hanging closet. Above the bed, you have very nice storage that opens up to a skylight over the bed with storage underneath the bed and a large TV above you. Like all the other staterooms, this stateroom also has a large VIP head with a shower and custom flooring. Coming out of that air-conditioned salon area, we're moving into the cockpit. The cockpit on this Viking is broken down into two sections. You have the mezzanine area with the tables that can flip up and flip out of the way. Nice place to come out, have a cigar, have some lunch, maybe drink a cup of coffee. Or If you're fishing, you're actually watching the baits from up here. We also have refrigerated drink boxes with the ice chipper. Storage tackle center over here, access to the engine room over here. Freezers over here, both left and right, which is nice. 
and then you move into the other part of the cockpit, the fishing part. Two fish boxes here, they're split with access to the Sea Keeper Gyro, which got upgraded to a 32 a year and a half ago. Very little time on it, works great. You come over here to this nice live well with the window in it, got a couple lights in it so you can see your bait fish at night or just sit back and enjoy the view. Lots of storage underneath both sides for your chamois and your mops to keep everything out of the way, nice and clean. We touched on this earlier. This is the engine room access, conveniently located in the mezzanine floor. This is the area we're gonna check out next. On the motor yachts, you have your watertight door aft. On the Vikings, they all have the engine room door right here, which is a watertight door coming down the stairs from the mezzanine seating area. And in the mechanical space itself, we have a pair of MTU 2600 horsepower engines. Currently with about 1,475 hours on it, with one year of extended warranty, which you could add to up to 10 years. Forward, we have the membranes for the water makers. We have the engine room vents. And all the way aft, we have a pair of Cummins generators, 29 kW, each with about 1,000 hours on them. Now that we finished up in the engine room, let's go forward to the bow, where we could talk about the toys, which is another great part of this boat. This 80 Viking has such a massive bow on it that it's able to take a 17-foot dinghy or a nice flats boat or two jet skis, whatever you choose. It depends on your fun program. It also has a 2,200-pound davit that's hydraulically left to right and up and down. The thing that completes this boat is having the dinghy on the bow. Should you want to go explore a little island or you want to run to the bar, you can lower the dinghy over the side. It makes for great family fun and is a great reason to own a boat like this. Another thing to point out is the safety of this bow rail. This bow rail actually extends back towards the Flybridge house. So when you're lowering this dinghy, it keeps people from falling off. And all the way forward on the bow, we have a large anchor locker here for fenders and a freshwater washdown. This large bow pulpit makes it incredibly easy to drop the anchor. I've already shown you the mezzanine and the mezzanine seating. I want you to see this large overhang to keep you in the shade with the air conditioning. I'm gonna go upstairs and show you the flybridge seating and overhang as well. I wanna bring you up to one of my favorite spots on the boat. The view overlooking the cockpit is awesome. You have a nice seating area here with storage. You have the spreader lights up top and a nice overhang for some shade. I wanna bring you over to the aft docking station where the captain runs the boat to dock the boat or fish the boat. This beautiful teak helm pod was an upgrade along with bow thruster buttons right in the handles. Below this hatch, you have your hydraulic outriggers, both port and starboard, so you can let your riggers out. You also have a Garmin GPS, as well as start and stop engine MTU controls. And directly overhead of the wheel here, you have some teaser reels, US-9, they're the biggest ones they make to pull a dredge or pull whatever you might want to do as far as your fishing goes. Wrapping up here, follow me back inside. We started with the interior and we're gonna finish with the interior. We're here in the flybridge of this 80 Viking gonna show you the controls and the spaciousness of what a large enclosed flybridge boat looks like. The enclosed flybridge is broken down into two halves. The back half is for your guests or anyone that may wanna sit and watch TV while the boat's running. Up here, doing 30 knots, there's no wind, no noise, super quiet. A lot of storage underneath the sofas, you have a set of refrigerators over here, and a nice cocktail table finishes off the space. Also, this couch can be converted into a sleeper sofa. So if the four staterooms below aren't enough and you need a little extra space, you can use this as a fifth stateroom. And the forward area of the enclosed bridge is where the captain runs the boat from. And this is where the captain monitors all the systems. This boat has a very intense upgraded electronics package to the tune of $250,000. All Garmin electronics, you can control your ice chippers from here. You've got all your gauges, Fleur night vision, and of course, a bow thruster. Thanks for joining me today on the walkthrough on this 80 Viking set in my waves. If you would like a private showing, please feel free to give me a call. She's sitting at the Bluffs in Jupiter, Florida.